what's going on guys it's your girl back with another week and we're going to pull an overall message and see what is the overall message for today's reading Ooh, something popped up spirituality number 77 you are surrounded by ancient knowledge and ancient wisdom right now that is going to allow you to embrace your spirituality this is a time and a season for you to really figure out your life purpose and really try to figure out this world and how can you really manifest here. This is learning how to tap into the divine, learn your chakras, learn about astrology so you can really figure out your personality and why things are the way they are around you. You are surrounded by a lot of growth when it comes to spirituality and this season is strictly going to be about you learning yourself, about you learning others, how wisdom and learning from others is not so bad. You're going to be learning how to cut people off and embrace your boundaries. So what is my collective's current energy spirit? Ooh. So you have the moon as your current energy. There's a lot of things that are resurfacing in your life that you haven't dealt with. There's a lot of things that are becoming um, noticed that was uncovered. There's a lot of secrets. There's a lot of things that you didn't work want to work on. There's a lot of things that are coming up to the surface that is forcing you to deal with them head on. You're also being called to embrace your intuition at this time. And really step into the unknown and not fear anything that's happening right now. Because everything that's happening is for a reason. And it's for you to get over some type of fear. This for you, this is for you and this is a time where things that you weren't sure about or things that you didn't have the information on, you are now going to be given that information for you to proceed based off of your intuition. There's a lot of things that you once didn't know that is going to be uh, made aware of. And you have the Ace of Pentacles. There's a lot of opportunities that has been undiscovered. There's a lot of ideas and creativity that hasn't been tapped into that now, because you are tapping into your spirituality, you are able to tap into your deepest, darkest fears. You are able to tap into the dark side of you, the things that you don't talk about, the things that you keep dormant. In this time of embracing spirituality, you might see the number 77. July 7th may be significant. You could have been born in 1977. Well, that could be significant years for you. But tapping into your spirituality and these energies that is around you, that is allowing you to learn more about yourself. You have many opportunities for financial gains, from building strong relationships, to keeping commitments. You have an opportunity to heal anything that is blocking those things I just mentioned. This is a time to really dive deep into anything that wasn't really clear to you. This is a time to utilize certain information so that way you can open up the gateway to new opportunities. There's a sense of needing to break free, um, break free from your fears here, especially when it comes to opportunities regaining your money and your finances and your relationship. There's a portal and there's a door that you have now access to. But first, you have to be willing to let go of something or to realize something in order for you to gain this pinnacle. The three of pinnacles. So this has a lot to do with you working on yourself, keeping commitment to yourself. Willing to change and, and fill in the areas that is not worked on here. 
You can also be switching jobs and you may be scared to take a different approach to your career. Your career may be leading you to a more spiritual industry and you might be a little afraid of what people think. At this time, you are going over a lot of contracts and a lot of proposals that you made with others and re-evaluating things. What I'm hearing is retrograde. So you're taking a pause backwards. Like I feel like you feel like things are going backwards because it's causing you to re revamp and revitalize the way you were even handling money and your relationships to money, your resources. I feel like a lot of that came from not being held within yourself here. I feel like you were attracting a lot of low vibrational things and it wasn't useful in your resources to make money or to make um or to connect strongly with relationships and people. I feel like you have a chance now because you are tapping into your spirituality, you have a chance to really heal from anything that you didn't want to touch on. Anything that you was um, masking, I feel like the mask are off. I feel like you have been shutting old skin. I feel like you have been shutting old skin. And I feel like this shutting of the old is allowing you to embrace your, um, embrace your fears, allowing you to see a lot of things for what they are. And there's a lot of things that has been illuminated that you was confused about, that you was unsure about, that was hidden from you. And with this illumination, it is allowing you to make right decisions and take opportunities as they come. There are many gifts and, and ideas and opportunities and resources that is surrounding you at this time. But it's really going to call you to evaluate the people that is around you, your connections. It's going to call you to really go over contracts and commitments that you made with people. It's even calling you to make strong commitments and keep commitments to yourself. That dark spot in the picture is all the, the, the possibilities and all your opportunities that have yet been discovered. There's a lot of things that you have yet tapped into because you've avoided a lot of things instead of bringing them to the surface. And now it's like you can't run from it no more. So you're being forced by the divine to come to terms with and face everything that's going on around you, especially involving relationships and your money and your resources you're taking a more spiritual approach because this is also about trusting your intuition and letting the divine guide you you're learning that intuition must be mastered in order for you to make good judgment and the right decisions, especially trying to magnetize materialistic things here on earth. You're building character. You're building strength. You're building willpower. Cl clarification. Thank you. You're building accountability you're fighting the energy that are trying to surround you with fear you're fighting and you're you're standing your ground and you're setting your boundaries against anything that makes you feel worried or confused or jealous or envious you are not allowing your dark to overshadow your light, but rather working with and balancing out your negative and your positive here. 
And when you learn how to control your anger, when you learn how to control your emotions, when you master self-discipline here and build character, you are not afraid to come against or move forward when you don't know the answer to the outcome here. This is you deciding to like literally push forward and use the strength that you have built over these past couple of months and trusting, trusting in the divine, trusting in the universe, knowing that there is a higher power that is guiding all of us here. Some of you guys even started to go to church or have church within your own house. However that may be for you, listening to meditation music, listening to gospel, whatever that may be for you. But some of you guys literally started to practice more of your spiritual matters and your spiritual practices. You started to get more in tune with that here. And it really not only gave you strength physically, but you've gained and you, you, you obtained spiritual strength to fight and be compatible in spiritual warfare, able to be equipped to engage in spiritual warfare, fighting the demons that were sent to harm you in any way, shape or form. This is you learning how to control yourself and learning how to act accordingly when you are around meetings and collaborations. This is you learning how to tame yourself and master your emotions and the good things to say and what not to say. When you are involved around a selective amount of people, this is you learning how to tame yourself around certain individuals to really, really build strong relationships. So that way in the end, you can utilize as a resource to gain money, to live financially free here on earth. What I'm hearing also is that you've grown to be more self-sufficient and not rely on others. You've tapped into your own divinity and you've questioned a lot of things. And some of you guys left jobs because you tapped into your own creativity here. This whole experience allowed you to release fear and step into the unknown and embrace your intuition. And knowing that the road you have chosen, which is spirituality, is going to only lead you to progression and to become more enlightenment as you grow and as you learn. This is also spirit illuminating anything that is not sent from up above. This is spirit always illuminating you with the things that you need to know when you feel confused, always listen to your intuition here because this is the card that is going to nudge you when something is wrong. This card comes out when you are being nudged, when your intuition is activated or needs to be activated here. You are gonna be now forced to make decisions based off of how you feel and you are no longer going to need any validation or any input in certain decision making especially when it has to do with building your resources and living financially free, um, clearing common debt, clearing any type of debt when it comes to your finances, learning how to build financial um, and generational wealth here. This is you actually also educating yourself about money. All right, that's what I have for you.